Hi and welcome back to Crafty Meraki's YouTube channel. In this video I will share a technique of how you can get a um, really fun dimension on your solid die cut pieces like this. I think it looks uh, quite dimensional when we are done. And for this technique I'm just uh, cutting uh, the dies out of some plain white cardstock. I used Nina and then I used a finger dauber here and my oxide inks to um, go in with the colors. So you can see I picked uh, two or three colors on all of the flowers just to create some dimension. Here I used uh, picked raspberry and I believe it was sponge sugar. And then we have um, uh, fossilized amber and uh, another orangey toned, um, I believe it was pumpkin maybe. Uh, for the colors, but you can use whatever colors you like. Uh, usually I don't like to <laughs> talk color combinations because I think you can use whatever, but I know that many people are interested in the colors used in the product, so I can understand that. But I um, think you can use whatever you have at hand. So you can see I'm going in with some colors here and for the leaves I did the same thing and for the stems as well. So I'm just uh, controlling where the ink goes and you can see I also have a scrap piece of paper because a lot of ink will go to waste on our paper. You could maybe preserve it by using a slick surface and waste a little bit less ink. But for me I thought this was easy enough just to do it this way. Uh, and you can see that all of the leaves are in the same color but that the flower got two shades and I think that also brings our project to life later on. Another thing that really brings this um, and gives this an amazing shine is that you can see that I took some um, liquid uh, pixie dust from Incontree and I took a brush and just used it on slick surface and you can see all of that glitter uh, ends up in the score lines in this uh, flower. So when you tilt it in the light you can really see that it's the shine on the paper but uh, the most concentrated parts are in those uh, scores. So that we really bring out um, or be brought out when we are assembling our card. And I will also use a piece of pattern papers uh, for my background there. You can see I used the back of that really pretty flower paper and used it to the back uh, where we have this ombre effect of green and teals. I just love it. It's so pretty. And um, I, by the way, I will have all of the link, uh, products to the links for all of the products that I used in this video linked down below for you. And this stamp set is called All You Need Is Love. And I love these reversed sentiments. Uh, they will be my um, my sentiment for this card. And it will say, all you need is uh, lots of love. Super pretty. And I used a black marker to go around all of the edges since I stamped this on white cardstock. Uh, I really think it makes a huge difference in the finishing project when you are taking the time to go over all of those small lines. So you can see that really pretty pattern paper. It really hurts my heart to cover it up, but I wanted something a little bit more quiet for my background here. So you can see to the side, I just laid all of my flowers that I will be using out. And you can see how pretty this inking technique is. It went super fast and it's a really fun die cutting technique as well. So I use some press and seal just to pick everything up and I can use some foam dimension to the back. And when I'm happy with all of the placement, I can press it down. And you will see that I will feeble a lot with this uh, because when I press this down, it didn't go where I liked it. So I will now take the time to fibbling around with all of these pieces and I promise I will speed this up so you don't have to see me do this a million times but you can really see that when you are taking the time to place everything down it will make a huge difference in the finishing project because everything will look sort of more natural um, and more effortless I think so you will see that I'm fiddling around a little bit more because I also wanted to have all of my sentiment fit in there nicely. So I have to raise some flowers and pull some of them down and 
yeah, you know, all of that fun. But this is actually the part of card making that I love the most. Uh, seeing how the project comes to life and where everything should go. It's really like, um, I really like the decoration part of the project. So we are soon on the finishing line here and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, for the embellishment here I used some gem uh, drops. Uh, I believe the color was Aura. Um, and I just used a pickup tool here to place them down. Uh, I also like to have them on top of flower leaves and paddles because it looks like it's raindrops on top of them. So it's really pretty. Um, this color is really pretty. It picks up all of the colors underneath. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, all of the links will be listed down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye!